Okay, so how do you define a matrix? Uh, we'll use what is known as an array. And it turns out that the array is a part of a different uh, module. It's called numpy. So I'm going to import as np. So then within numpy, there is an array. And I'm just going to assign it, just going to define some uh, a two by two matrix. Okay, so it'll be say two comma four comma five comma minus six. And so far, since I've not saved it, it actually doesn't quite know that this is Python. So unless I call it whatever dot pi, it will not really uh, give me that tabs and all when you can actually scroll on for the reference. Um, in fact, you can also use this software to write C code. It'll, the moment you save it as C, it will start interpreting all those lines as C, C, or C code. So save this, control S, call that text. Okay, so I did not quite name it correctly. I did not put the extension. So let me just do that. Uh, so here, desktop. I think I'm good. Okay, now you can see it's recognized that. So by this by itself, if I run this, nothing will happen because it's not set to print or do anything. Uh, I'm going to define another uh, another uh, matrix. So I can work with both of them. B equals np dot a cosine theta. Minus nine, minus nine theta, sine theta. Sine. Okay, let's see what it does for print. Print P. Okay, control shift P. Okay, so what it says here is, uh, well, cosine is not defined. So by itself, Python. Cosine is not defined. This is something which you will not deal with if you use some other uh, programming environment like MATLAB. So cosine is not there. It's in fact, it's a part of uh, NumPy. So what, I, what you can do is you can either call it as np dot cosine theta, but I think it's just annoying to write that np again again. So what you can do here is uh, you can actually define a function def cosine theta, which basically returns np dot cosine. Okay, so you don't need this, but you can keep it if you want. So control shift p, and you see it just printed the value correctly. Uh, this matrix is actually a special matrix. It's called a rotation matrix. We'll be dealing with this kind of matrices a lot in this course. So that's how you define a two by two. You can also define a, a vector. So vector is np dot array one comma two. And so this is basically of dimensions uh, one column to rows. So you can do print small b and then you print it. Now, if you want to basically take the multiplication of a two by two, this is a two by two matrix and a two by one um, array or vector, then uh, in, in, in MATLAB, you just do it a dot a cross b, but here you'll have to do it slightly differently. Let's define that as in, in D, capital D, a dot b. And then we can print d. So this basically takes a, which is a two by two, multiplies the two by one, and then saves it in D. So here's the output. Ten minus seven. Uh, you can you can check that by doing it manually. Okay. So then the other thing we need a lot in this course is the transpose. A dot transpose. Okay. Now where I'm making this up, well, it's if you want to 
when I started off with Python, I did not know how to do this. And the best way is to do this is to just go to Google and just say um, Python numpy Python transpose. And then the first result has, is numpy.transpose. If you go to the documentation, it actually will show you what how to write it. So numpy.transpose uh, a comma axis. So a is the Okay, they usually are examples. So let's see if there's an example. X is this, then you can do np.transpose x. So I've not quite used it this way, but you could also use this this way. That is, you can do np.transpose a. I just used uh, a.transpose, which is another way of doing it. So we can try this also. Print. np dot transpose okay it gave me the identical output so there are like multiple ways of doing the same thing uh, i'm sure there is like a function within the numpy module which enables you to print the transpose in both these ways so really the way to figure this out is to just go and just search and you find whatever you need okay a few more things Uh, one more thing which we need a lot in this course is the inverse. So the way you get the inverse is, uh, it's actually a module within NumPy, there is a linear, linear algebra. Uh, so it's a, so there's a linear algebra function which has inside inverse. And so then if you want to see the, what A inverse is, just so print A inverse. Let me comment this out. So control shift P. Okay, so this is something which happens a lot to me at least. So when you, if you highlight this and you just say control shift B and you run it, it actually will only execute that particular line. Uh, so it gives an error because when it executed that line, A inverse, A inverse was not defined. So to give you an example where this will work is if you go, let's say here, So this is useful if you want to run only a part of your code. But let's say I want to just run this. I highlight that and so control shift B and it gives me an error because D is not defined, but let me do this. Control shift B. Oh no, my bad, small B is not defined. So let's highlight all these three and then do control shift B. And so now NP is not defined. So, you know, it's like, it just recognizes only that part which is being run. So how do I get this to work? I need to, okay, there might be a better way to do this, but what I would do is I just copy this just to show you how it works. Okay, and then let's run this. Oh, A is not defined, my bad. Too many things. Let me just put this also. Okay, I'm pretty sure it'll run now. Control shift P. Okay, there it is. Okay, I can get rid of this. Okay, I got the inverse. Mm -hmm. I didn't print it, I think. So that's the inverse. You can check it by doing, uh, so how do you check the inverse? Well, if you take A, multiply with the A inverse, then you should get identity, right? So you can check that. Now you might say, you might think, well, let me just do this. A times A inverse, right? This is a perfectly legit command in MATLAB. So if that is right, then you should get identity when you, when you multiply those two. So let's run this. Control shift P. It actually prints this value. So it's not identity. So what's wrong? So it turns out this is not the right way of doing multiplication. It's really, uh, the way to do this is again, go to the documentation and check how to multiply two matrices in NumPy. So you need to do uh, something like this. np.matmul. 
So then you pass in a, you could do a inverse comma a or a times a inverse. So if you, if you execute this, you get one zero zero one, which is what you should expect. Okay. Uh, print last one before we finish with this. This is just used to create the identity matrix. So three by three identity matrix. Control Shift P. Did I do something wrong? Uh, name in. Let me try it again. I don't see an N here, but so what I was saying was exactly this, which is it will give you an error. It will tell you exactly what it didn't recognize. Line twenty six. This line there's an error. I had an error because I must have accidentally. Okay, so yeah, so it was I deleted it before I was. Okay, so it works fine. So that's what I was saying in terms of debugging. It will exactly tell you where the problem is, and you just have to go to that line and then fix the problem. 